Stop. This is Earl, and she is... Stephanie! Yeah. And we are from the... Local Artisan Collective. <laughs> and, well, most of the time in downtown Ogden, now we're a little more spread out, huh? Yeah. Um, and, and one of the cool things is that our website is just, like, amazing right now. So if people from... California to New York and anywhere in between wanted to see what some of our artists are making. It's been really incredible um, to see all of the artists adding things to there. And, and there's literally new things being added every day. Every day I look at it, I'm like, oh my goodness, that's so cool. Pretty awesome it is. Yeah. yeah and, maybe this would be the time, Stephanie. Oh. To tell them about our curbside. Oh yeah, for sure. So um, we started last Sunday and um, tomorrow will be the next day um, that we're offering curbside and then we will also have it Monday, Tuesday. So basically by next week we'll have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Curbside service for a couple hours of every day. So if there's something you see us post, um, let us know and, and we can just walk it right out to your car and and it will be really easy to do. Um, we also are yeah. doing um, in-store shopping by appointment, so you can arrange an appointment with anyone during any of those times that we're open and come check everything out. Be pretty awesome. The thing we ask of everybody is that you do the social distance thing, and uh, We'll wear our mask to protect you, and all we're asking is that you wear your mask to protect us. Yeah, we and, we have and a lot that. of artists that are um, have compromised immune systems and are in a lot of the high risk categories, and so we're um, we're following everything that the Weber Morgan Health Department is telling us to do, and and asking everyone right. to help us keep our artists safe. So if we all work together, we can get yeah. through this thing, get it behind us. And, uh, yep. Kind of get it up front instead of dragging it along for months at a time. Yep. Hi, Rachel. Thanks for coming to hang out with us. You're actually one of the, the people I have to highlight today. So should we start with awesome. some fun uh, gift ideas for Father's Day? Yeah. So um, Rachel that's watching and her awesome husband, Richard, they're like this incredible, they're probably the, some of the smartest people I've ever met in my life. Um, they write these philosophy books on different pop culture and so I thought that these would be really cool um, gift options for Father's Day and this is just a handful of them I think they have about 12 uh, that are on the website so if you have a father or grandpa or an important man in your life or even for yourself if you love to read um, they're really cool um, Pretty awesome. yeah and I went in the store and they had made these they do this really cool podcast um i think therefore i fan and they have these buttons for free at the store so if you order one of their books i was going to throw one of these in there for free for you so everyone that orders a book from them today or until they run out i will throw one in there for you awesome yeah i thought that'd be really fun awesome. So you get two presents. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. My turn? Yeah. To show what I'm going to show? Yes. And where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here it is. Okay, one of, one of my, I shouldn't okay. say it, but one of my favorite people and, and a fellow artist is Cody Wilkinson. Yeah. And Cody, he is amazing in his art. He um, is a lathe person, mm -hmm. turns wood. He even turns some stone on like alabaster, things like that. They're so pretty. Well, my wife bought this for me for Christmas two years ago. <laughs> Stephanie and her <laughs> got together and <laughs> snuck it in on me. So... Anyway, um, I'll turn it over here. I'd die if I dropped it. 
Oh, it's so it's beautiful. Just, just the weirdest thing, but this burl, it, it looks like a maple. Mm -hmm. But this hole right here, I'm sure Cody uh, created that hole, drilled it, and then somehow came up with a tool. And in this radius here, on the inside and up inside has been uh, lathed out, machined out. And uh, it's just always been a favorite of mine and keep it on our piano. And it's quite a conversation piece also because people say, well, what's that? And I get to tell them about it. But anyways, Cody and Michelle do a lot of stuff. And uh, are they taking orders? Will they? Um, I'm not sure if they're taking orders right now, but we do have some really beautiful pins that they have made in the store. Right. Um, Michelle was just stocking up, so they're they're just beautiful ones. Um, so. Well, a tree that I grew up with in our backyard as a kid, a black walnut tree. Uh, when they built the low store in Riverdale, they took the tree down, and I got all the wood. Oh, very cool. And, yeah, and so Cody and Michelle made several pens out of that black walnut tree for me. And I was able to give them as gifts to my sons, to my brother and sister, and other people that had picnics underneath the mm -hmm. walnut tree at our house. And it just brings back some special memories. So if you got something like that, it wouldn't hurt to let us get hold of those guys and see if they couldn't create a memory for your special man yeah. this uh, Father's Day. They are just some of the coolest people, too. I adore uh, both of them. They're, yeah. they're just fantastic. Salt of the earth people. Yeah, for sure. Well, hey, Jenny, how are you? Um, Hi, Jenny. So one of the things that I have to show is this is a cool ring that I bought for Lance. Um for a Father's Day, I think a year ago. Um, and Renee makes these. If you go to our website, you can see all sorts of really cool jewelry that would be great gift ideas for Father's Day. Hey, twinners, dink. <laughs> we could do like ring high five. That's an elk tooth of an elk <laughs> eye shot. And Renee uh, made a ring for me too, so cool. Yeah, I liked how it had like the flames on it. I thought that was really cool. Those are antlers. Well, in my mind, it was flames. <laughs> oh, well. We are twinners. We didn't even plan it, Jenny. Jenny said we're twinners. Except for mine has flames. Mine has antlers. Except for the... For the elk I shot, though, he was a she. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, Renee has tons of really cool gift ideas um, for Father's Day. You, I mean, I'm actually wearing some of his stuff, too. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Okay, your turn. My turn. Okay, what have we got next? Um... Um, this is kind of fun. It's uh, just kind of uh, small pieces, but um, I got a whole bundle of these, but they're uh, key fobs. Ooh, cool. And there's something new that we've come up with. Uh, like it's got any, what's that one? Um, echo, gecko. Oh, uh-huh. And here we go. The old snake. Critter. Ooh, yeah. And what else? Oh, this is probably my favorite. Just the old oh, yeah. steer head. Yeah, those are cool. That's a cool new and, line you have. Yeah, and they're all on some really neat leather, too. Most of it uh, would be an exotic, you know, like a buffalo or something like that. So they're nice pieces. Very nice. Um, so one of the traditional things that we give for fathers is a tie, right? So instead of just a tie, you could give him some tie clips. 
or pen. So, and I can make them in any stone um, that you would want. So if you want to do blue, you could do like lapis or sodalite or green, you could do peridot or pink, you could do rose quartz. I mean, there's all different, I have tons of different stones. I have tiger's eye for brown. And so if your father um, has a favorite color, I can create that for you. Just the perfect stone. That's pretty awesome. Thanks. Um, what else have I got? Oh, from my old buddy Reed. Oh, Loveland. he makes beautiful pottery. Yeah. Now, That's this fantastic. This kind of unique. It's, it's pretty big and it's relatively heavy. Yeah. And it's small, you know. What I see is somebody maybe taking a leather thong or something to tie around here, maybe have some uh, wheat or barley stalks or some kind of some big grass in your office. It'd be um, good looking, but also be manly too. Yeah, he had and, some really cool mugs at the store and pottery. So yeah. you could go check those out. That's a great idea. Yeah. Reed's a lot of fun, too. Excellent artist. He, in 2009, he was voted the high school art teacher of the year. So he very uh, handy with artwork of, of about any kind. Yeah. I mean, we have some of his visual art uh, at the store also. And he's just another, just, just an amazing guy. Just and he's hilarious too. He has the funniest dry sense of humor. Like he'll just say something and you're like, did you just say that? He, he has a perfect poker face. Yeah, he's hilarious. I, I, I miss hanging out with him for sure. Yeah. Um, so here is a cool painting by Emery Young from Socialize. Um, Thought that would be kind of cool if you have someone that's into UFOs. Seems to be really popular right now. And then yeah. she also has like some cool magnets that she's done flow paintings on. So these are all listed on the website also. That flow painting is fun to do and I hope eventually she'll be able to open it up to classes again. Yeah, we'll have to see. It's one of my grandkids' favorite things to do on an outside get together. So it's yeah, it's fun. pretty fun. Good times for sure. Yeah. Well, I don't know if any of your dads or brothers or whatever um, are people that keep a diary or notes or special thoughts or even something that they could use at work. Um, have a diary. Oh it's yeah. Made out, of, made out of buffalo with an inlay python skin on the inside. And the nice part about it is, is it's re. Really, you can put another book right in this, uh, and put the other one on your shelf and start over again. Uh, this yeah, one, like I say, is buffalo. Nice. And if you have a the need or a want for a different color combination of colors more than likely like find something relatively close actually just yeah. just today I got some ostrich in today oh yeah it's gorgeous stuff not quite as heavy as the buffalo but right. man is it pretty it's a kind of a milk chocolate brown Huh. It has the, the pox in it where the, you know, the feather quills go in. So it's right. fun. Yeah, it, um, I think that that would also be cool, like, for people that have to take notes at work or even, like, writers if they're working on writing. Huh. So. Yeah, um, a thought book, you know. Yeah, all sorts of cool ideas. Um, Marilyn White says hi. Hi. And, and Steve, how are, how are you? you guys doing? Thanks for watching us. <laughs> um, one of the ideas that I had, I, don't be mad at me because I know it's one of your favorites, Earl. But okay. Heather has some of the yeah. coolest. <laughs> she has Where some of the coolest. I got it before he did because he really loves it. 
um, Heather has some really amazing um, watercolors on the website too and in the store so if you come in the store um i was in awe she i bet there's probably at least another 10 new paintings in there and they're they're fantastic her attention to detail is incredible and she she is just one of the coolest ladies too she's she's always giving and always kind and helpful and just a really good person so i could watch her forever because Yes. When she starts going in, what? you're going to make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it just all works out really beautiful. She has, I think, perfect control of the colors, man. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful. She does a good job. So um, definitely highly recommend that. You know, and, and she does do custom orders. So if you... Um, if you're like, oh, my husband's favorite animal is a tiger or a llama or a penguin or you know she can draw those for you and paint them so i really like when she does trains yeah yeah those are cool too um so cool stuff um joe is another one that does really cool custom orders too um so he i sent my father-in-law an ornament that had an old uh, vintage antique car on it that joe had done and that was really cool so he can do any of those kind of things for you also if you're looking for a unique father's day gift um joe from the shark shack is another wonderful person to hit up for that he really likes uh, dragons and dungeons and that kind of stuff too i think it's yeah pretty and, interesting what he can do and he is working on some really cool designs for my um sons um where he's doing their favorite animal and then adding their name and then he's also doing one for my house um where it has our last name on it and then a picture of ben loman so he can really just do anything and and he like sent me like 10 different options of fonts and said oh here try these different fonts and see which one you like. So I'm super excited to show those off when um, when I get those. The thing is, is he does most of it freehand. Yeah, he'll just sit there and just start drawing. You're like, you're yeah. incredible, dude. <laughs> you're amazing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. So are you ready for your turn? Or do you want me I to go so. again? Okay. Uh, um, I don't know if we have any hunters or people pack a knife on their side, but uh, I have these. Um, it's for like a four inch pocket knife. It's all hand tooled. Wow. Did you stain that leather um, too? Yeah. Yeah. This is all antique. That's beautiful. And uh, it they're fun and they last forever and right. the longer you use them the better they get you know they get that patina that shine and then the, the cover just kind of works its way around your knife and they're pretty nice Very so cool. have those or the regular hunting knife type sheath tubes very cool they go from like a four inch blade up to about a 10 inch blade so well, and speaking, speaking of custom orders, you could even put people's initials on that, or you could make that however yeah. you want, or a belt, or, I mean, you do a million different kinds of custom orders, which would be really cool for Father's right. Day. Yeah, I've made Western belts with, the, you know, their name in the back, and uh, lots of fun stuff like that. Nice. Or on any of the books I can do, you know, I can actually put their name or tool in a, a design right nice yeah, very it's... cool um so a vest are pretty popular but i don't just do oh. regular vests you have like cool designs on the back of them so awesome. you make some cool ones of these um for fathers that would be a cool father's day gift i think so yeah I think that'd be really nice. And you do shirts, t-shirts. Yep. You know, yep. And uh, do a lot of fun stuff with those. Yeah. 
What, um, do you have any other items that you wanted to show off? Uh, I think I'm good for now. Just uh, kind of whet your appetite. It's only a couple weeks away from Father's Day. Right. Um, so I was going to show this. This would be cool for Father's Day, but it's also just to talk about summer. This is um, made by Mary, and she has beautiful... Um, metal pieces in our in our store that you can come and check out they're right hanging right above the um front door and they're beautiful and she has them in all different kinds of shapes and sizes and um so father's day but then also leading into summer yeah you're gonna put a swivel on those in a wire and hang them in the tree oh yeah uh, that'd be cool kind of wind catchers you know they're they're really pretty yeah, she does a beautiful job. So I just actually have that hanging on my wall um, in my, because I just, I love it. So, um, but we have some really cool summer classes coming up. We have had a lot of people messaging us and asking us about that. So um, right now, um, Renee is teaching an in-store jewelry camp for teenagers where you come in the store and he's limiting it to only, um, I believe, four students. So that they can do social distancing and do all of the things that are recommended by the Weber Morgan um, Health Department. Um, but so that will be really cool. My son took that class last year and he really loved it. They made some bracelets and necklaces and a ring and they just, they did some really cool things. So highly recommend that class. And then... Um, online, um, I'll be teaching um, some online classes. So I have a robot one where you'll be getting to make three different kinds of robots. Um, and then I have a unicorn and fairy one where, you're, where you will be making some different items for that. And then I also have um, two six-week classes coming up that will be taught this summer. Um, one is um, from 5 to 12 and then one is 12 to 18. And for all of these classes, I will ship you a big box of art supplies, and um, you will get to keep those. They'll, they, they are for you, and we'll go online and do a class every week. So it should be a pretty fun time. Well, it depends on how this uh, next few weeks go. I'd love to get back into teaching, too. Yeah. Uh, in store and... Uh, We'll just see how it goes. It starts trending better. Um, look forward to that. Uh, getting back with my former students. Uh, Roan and I still got to finish his baseball hat. Man, that was cool what you guys were making. <laughs> Leather baseball hat. Boy, that's, that's really testing both of our abilities, I'll tell you that. So, I love the but fun. I love that your students are like, hey, I want to make this. And you're like, well, I've never made it, but let's try it. So <laughs> that's pretty cool to watch that whole process happen. So, And I think that's one of the coolest things about being at the Local Artisan Collective is that all of us teachers really strongly believe that our students are the artists. And we give them skills and we're there to support them through the process. But, you know, we really let them explore and... And just have that creativity, you know, where we're not just like, you have to do it this way. <laughs> yeah, there's more than one way to do it for sure. And, and I've actually learned some uh, things from some of my students to kind of speed the process or at least keep uh, kick the uh, thought process in, you know. Right. When they say, how about if we do it this way? And I said, well, never thought of it. But let's, let's do it. Right. <laughs> Some cool stuff. Um, I think another really cool thing for summer will be that new bag behind you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I think that will be really fun to, like, you know, it's lightweight and it will hold a lot of things in there. So I think that would be really cool for summer. Yeah. Well, my wife, Mary Gill, uh... She came up with the design. She's uh, awesome. And it, uh, we call it just my bag. Pretty simple. Um, let's see if I can get just, uh, it's just a bag. 
Yeah. And the, the strap is made out of a cotton cord. Oh, fun. has brass grommets. Uh, the leather on this one is uh, lamb. And this one is completely um, lined. Oh, very cool. So it sh should last forever. And things like this only get uh, prettier as time go on. You know, just uh, get that patina on them that I love, the shininess. So. Yeah. That's a fun one. I have three of those available right now. Oh, cool. So, yeah, I got this one. I got a light tan one and a yellow one. Oh, very nice. All right. Well, well, thanks. Anything else we want to tell everybody? Hang in there, guys. You know, I, I'm thinking we're seeing the end of things, but I also think that uh, we're the ones that are in control of what happens. It's not going to be magic. It's going to take a lot of work. Uh, so just hang in there and Keep a smile on your face. I think the best thing uh, is attitude. Uh, none of us are immune to it. So, and there's one thing that we can always give each other, and it's free, and that's a smile. So, <laughs> hang in there, okay? We're gonna get back going. We're we as a collective are committed to keep this thing floating. So, uh, we're all working hard to have some new stuff when you come back in the shop. I know I've got a whole drawer full of stuff that I've been down here in my shop working. You can see behind me all the leather I've got, and that's only just a little bit of it, so just keep going. Yeah. What do you got to say, Steph? I agree. I'm excited. Um, you can uh, reach us on the phone at 801-399-ARTS, um, which is also... 801-399-2787 so you can come and schedule an appointment to go shopping um, you can do curbside we can do online which is localartisancollective.com um, and that has tons of ideas on there that's where you can sign up for summer camps that's where you can buy the grab and go kits I mean Becca has a cool sewing kit on there. Joe's got a drawing kit. Um, we have a fairy kit. There's an air plant kit. There's a bath bomb kit. I mean, there's just so many fun kits on there that you could get for your kids this summer. Um, you can read up about the artist. You can go shopping for all these cool Father's Day items. So there's there's so many cool things that um, that everyone's doing, and and our goal to really support local artists has always remained that, and we'll keep keep doing that, trying to support everybody the best we can. Yep. So. I think that's pretty much it, huh? Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching Next us. Next week, okay? Bye. Bye.